Well, welcome, Impact Family. I am so glad you came out for our family meeting tonight. I really appreciate it. Uh, let me just give you a little bit of what we're gonna do tonight and then where we kind of follow up with this after, uh, after the next few weeks and months pass by. So tonight, we wanted to let you know about some amazing things that have taken place in what we're calling yesterday. Uh, in the past year, year and a half, amazing things that we've seen happen, uh, life change that's taken place, all that. You'll see it in just a minute. Uh, we also wanted to bring you up to speed on things we're working on right now. Like what's the most important pieces of ministry and direction that we're working on right now as a staff and as a leadership team. And then we wanna turn our attention toward where we're headed, things we're praying about, uh, steps that we're taking, uh, conversations that we're in, et cetera, et cetera. Once we get all that done, we're hopeful to do it in an hour, um, we're going to uh, stay around afterward. If you have any questions, if you wanna follow up, you want greater, for cl greater clarification or a little bit more information, the staff, the board members, we're just all gonna stay around for the next few minutes. And wanted you to know, uh, at a future date, probably in January or February, we're gonna come back and do another family meeting, following up on some of the conversation that we're starting tonight and bringing you into tonight, so that you not only can know kind of how those things went and, and where we've landed on those, but between here and there, you can pray for us, you can pray for your church, you can pray for the things we're praying for, and it really becomes, well, it becomes something that the whole church is involved in. And I think that's the way it's supposed to work. Thanks again. Hey guys, I'm Emily Davis, one of the worship pastors here at Impact. I was recently invited into some leadership with Impact's Welcome Ministry. So we are really excited for what God is doing here to bring people from front door into family. Statistics say that people will decide within the first seven minutes of visiting your church if they'll return back again for a second time. So Impact's Welcome Ministry exists to make people feel like they belong, create an environment that feels like home, so that people are better able to encounter the love of God. Our Welcome Ministry consists right now of three pieces. It's our first impressions, greeters, our hospitality team, and our newly developed connections process, which takes people from filling out a connection card to connecting with one of our pastoral staff members, um, receiving the care that they need, and then ultimately into a discipleship relationship. So I just wanna personally thank you guys for those of you that help in any of these areas to make impact feel like home. And we're just really praying in this season that this space becomes so inviting, so filled with the love of God, that people are able to come in and begin to let down their walls and encounter the love of Jesus. Hi everyone, I'm Amber Wyrock, and I just recently moved into the role of pastor of discipleship and equipping. God has just really given me a heart recently for the community here at Impact to see all of us together dig deeper and just pursue Him through prayer and through time in His Word, through serving, and most importantly, through relationships. One of the ways that we're doing this is really investing in our leaders, both those that are already serving in leadership, but also our upcoming leaders. And we're doing this by walking with them in their spiritual journeys, by meeting with them one-on-one, -on -one, and offering training opportunities. This is so important because it provides them with the tools and the resources that they need to step into those relational discipleship relationships with others in their teams. We also are working really hard to create multiple pathways towards discipleship. One of those ways is through our discipleship curriculum that is launching on October 6th called Foundations. We have people that are going to be meeting in life groups, in small triads, in one-on-one -on -one pairs, and they will be going through eight touch points that will complement our Sunday morning services. Most of all, guys, we just want you to know that we are so excited about what God is doing in this next season, and we just, we anxiously anticipate all that He is going to do for us. Over the past 16 months, we have seen Impact celebrate 27 salvations and baptisms. This is why we gather as a body. I mean, growing and impacting the kingdom is our mission, and we know that heaven celebrates these victories with us. Now, what's fascinating is during this same time period, because of your generosity, because of this church family, we have been able to bless over 30 people through our benevolence fund. And sometimes people's actually a whole family, but those 
Those needs that have been met have ranged from, well, some pretty simple things like gas money and a day's worth of groceries to making sure people haven't lost their homes or have the medicines that they need. We've been able to be Jesus to these people and provide a blessing that comes straight from you, the church family here at Impact. Man, we believe those needs will continue to grow at Impact. We, we don't think they're gonna go away anytime soon, but we're excited to move forward knowing that God will help us meet the needs of real people in this community. Now, besides the 500 people that call Impact home each week, we have a growing presence online. Current online attendance is over 200 per week. Now, listen to this. These online attenders consider Impact their church home. They, they, they give, they, they pray for Impact and its leadership, and we continue to look forward to expanding our ability to interact and serve this part of our church family. But our online presence doesn't just come from our local attenders. These are people that are across the United States and outside of the United States. In fact, we are in 17 different countries. A good part of those countries, by the way, are hostile to the gospel. Now we'll continue to look for ways to engage and provide Christian resources to those places, but we wanted you to know that this church family is touching people in Saudi Arabia, Iran, Iraq, Yemen, Egypt, Jordan, and Israel. The gospel is reaching these parts, these areas of the world through the ministry that we have here in Overland Park, Kansas. We're excited to continue preaching boldly into these cultures as well as our own. This past summer, we sent over 50 students to NTS, never the same camp this year. It was the largest group we have ever taken. We literally had to rent a bus and take other vehicles just to accommodate uh, all the young people that wanted to go and be a part of this camp. We had over 100 kids attending our vacation Bible school. Listen, Impact is passionate about the next generation and training up kids and students to carry the torch for the kingdom. Impact has also slowly been building a movement and heart for missions. Now, you may not know that we've sent a team a couple of times to Dallas uh, to help with some of the devastation that occurred there or that uh, we helped support another team that went to Haiti. We have, we have sent hope and, message, and the message of God's love to countries in South America and Africa through Operation Christmas Child. We've sent Easter baskets to Kid at Children's Mercy just down the street. We have supported local food pantries, a food kitchen, and we continue to give fresh vegetables from our garden to people that wouldn't otherwise have them available to them. And these are just a few things that we're passionate about in Impact. This isn't everything, but it is a growing list of ways that we are moving and reaching out into our world to provide for those in need. We will not stop here. Impact will continue to look for ways to preach the gospel, feed the hungry, care for the widows and the orphans, and provide hope to the hopeless. Thanks for all you've done.